is Heather Martins with the House of Success here to show you a quick little tip on how you can measure things on the internet. So here we are on my website and some people have these little side widgets here with, with videos on them. And if you copy the embedded code, so if we just go over to the same video here on YouTube, and if you go to share and then it says you click on it'll come up there and but if you click on embedded it'll have the width and height here and then sometimes if you want to change the, si the size they've got different sizes here and it'll change all the sizes for you but this 560 by 315 if you copy this code and you actually put it in your widget here let's just do it right now oh. copy So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to go back to my blog and refresh it here. You will see that, whoa, oh my gosh, it's like way too big and it's like, whoa, that's no good. So what you can do is there's this cool little tool and it's called, in this is Chrome, I use Google Chrome lots, so this is another tool for Google Chrome, it's called Measure It. So when you add it to Chrome, and you can use this for other things too, I'll show you another example, but if you add it to Chrome, and then you go back to, I have got it installed already up here, this little ruler, you go back to your blog, and just click on it, and the screen will fade, and then you've got these little crosshairs, and if you go and you just click and you drag to the size that you think it should fit, so I believe before I had it at, it was like 280 by 200, I believe. So let's go with that. Okay, so 280 by 200. So you can see here in the little window there, it, it shows the sizes of the pixels. So I'm going to just uh, round it to the closest number. So if you go back to your YouTube video, and if you type in there 280, was again 280 by 200 by 200 and then you just copy that code or you can even just edit it in here but I'll just paste it because I've got it copied already but you can you can just edit it and you can play around with the size in there and you hit save and then to turn off the ruler you just see it's red up here you just click it off and then I'm going to refresh And now we've got a better size and it fits in there. And that's really handy too. So if you want to know like the size, if you're doing um, say an ebook or you've got another widget that you're putting in there. So 280 by 200, all you have to do in your whatever um, program that you use for making graphics, 280 by 200 pixels. My computer is being slow. And there you go. And that's the exact size you need. So that's really handy. I love this tool. I use it a lot. You can use it for a lot of other things like on uh, Facebook. If you're going on your, you know, people don't always remember the sizes. Oops. So Again, you can just, hmm, what size is the cover photo again? I can't remember, top of my head. 280, 245 by, say, 3, 310. Perfect. Then you know. And Or what is the little profile picture? 160 by 160. Perfect. It's just really handy, and it's always there, and I love it. So there you go. That's how you use the little Measure It Chrome uh, add-on there. Have fun with it and enjoy. This is Heather with the House of Success. Cheers.